think leading an organisation is, is really difficult. Um, I don't think, I think anybody would be lying who said it isn't because it's, it's a world made up of people and your job I suppose is to lead by example and sometimes I'm as frightened and as stressed and as grumpy as anybody and we do have to be brave in these theatres. We are programming work that sometimes stretches the audience's you know, desire to come and see something so holding your nerve, being fair and I suppose having a belief system that's true. And I try, I suppose, to lead by example, but I hope nobody's watching this in the organisation because <laughs> they might question that. But I do try. I think I wake up every morning hoping that the courage I can try and display and the humanity I can try and show to the work that we provide um, will at least give people something to lean on. During the whole Me Too, and the issues that kind of happened since Weinstein and all of that. And occasionally being a great leader is the courage to put your head over the parapet and say no more, even if it means we lose money, even if it means a difficult decision. I think what's exciting about now is we are moving into a time of principles. And I suppose great leaders, and again, I wouldn't count myself one, but if I try to be a great leader, it is to have the courage occasionally to make a difficult decision and a decision of principle. And I think the greatest leaders that we have at the moment in the arts are courageous people. Uh, Dot Art is a, a small arts organisation. Uh, we support visual artists and help champion art as an integral part of everyday life. So I started the company 12 years ago. I didn't set out to become a leader in the field, but by working with local artists for the last 12 years, I suppose you might say that I have become a little bit. There isn't that much support out there for visual artists, and we like to think that we can help them build their careers and gain access to markets in ways that other organisations aren't necessarily able to. But we're very lucky here, we have a fantastic team, and we also work with over 100 local artists on a regular basis who really inspire me to, uh, to do the best job I can. Good leadership is, is very hard to define, um, but it's also incredibly important. Believing in what you do and being passionate about what you do is absolutely vital, uh, and hopefully that stands people in a good stead. So over the past 12 years, we've developed a, a wide range of different services for our artists, including they run art classes for the public, we have affordable studio spaces for them, we have a fine art printing service for them, we offer them a range of discounts. So we've really tried to build on really practical, helpful services for artists that can actually help them to build their careers um, as they go forward. So hopefully we've, we've been able to create a role for ourselves, which, which has been of benefit to the artistic community in Liverpool as a whole. Maureen Banton was director here at the Blue Coat Display Centre in Liverpool for over 31 years. I nominated Maureen because she's somebody who's inspired a lot of young people to, um, to exhibit um, at primarily the Blue Coat Display Centre and then I've gone on to national and international reputations. She's very much been at the forefront of applied arts throughout the country. Maureen was an incredible motivator, um, a really inspiring person to have um, working under for myself and, and all of my colleagues and staff that have worked here over the years.